you want them to see a healthy relationship, it'll really make the world of a difference. Big events such as graduations, weddings, birthdays, make sure that your kids don't feel the strain of your divorce. Make them feel comfortable, make them feel loved, make that day about them. Don't use your child as leverage against the other parent. I think that sets a bad example for the kids that they'll form an opinion about a parent that might not necessarily be true. Make sure that I know that it's not my fault, that the problems between you and your ex aren't on me, and that I don't put the blame on myself. Don't be upset if I enjoy spending certain holidays with my mother more than with you. You don't have to compensate for it just because you don't understand my tastes and interests the way that she does. Don't jump into new relationships right away. If you get remarried, make sure that this is the one. Uh, my parents got divorced when I was really young, and the second divorce hurt me a lot more than the first one. Um, I think one of the most important things is to just respect each other. Um, if you respect each other, you can. it's easier to respect other people that are around you. And um, the fact that my parents respected each other a lot really um, uh, had a huge effect on our relationship. Don't talk negatively about your ex in front of your children. You want to make sure that your children are still able to form their own opinions because it's still their parent working through your differences so you only need to have one party instead of having two separate birthday parties. Be civil around your children. One Thanksgiving, my parents both had it together after they were divorced. It was probably one of the best Thanksgiving we had together. Don't talk bad to each other in front of me. Um, it makes things more difficult if I have to have mom versus dad and choose sides and who's right or wrong. It just makes everybody unhappy and I'd really rather not have a competition you both love me equally, just show it. When you find someone new in your life, don't make it obvious that they're more important than us. My parents never lied to me when I asked them questions about their divorce, and thanks to that, I never had any misconceptions that they were going to get back together, but I also knew that they both still cared about each other. Their honesty helped me deal with the process. Do keep your problems away from your children. If you're having a fight, I don't want to know any part of it. Just keep it away from your children and it'll be fine. Reassure the kids that it's not their fault. So just make sure to, you know, keep the love in your family. Uh, that's all kids want, really, is love from their parents. Don't get mad at me if I don't like the person you're dating right away. It's a weird situation and I need some time to get used to it and to get used to this new person in your life. Don't involve me in the money transactions between each of you. Don't make an assumption about how I'm gonna feel about your divorce. Let me figure it out and support me in my own way. If you don't live with the child, make sure that you're making every effort you can to communicate and not give up even if it, it's difficult dealing with the other parent. Don't talk about the problems that you have with your ex in front of your children. Don't let your kids lose hope in relationships just because yours didn't work out. My mom and my dad don't speak directly to each other, so my mom would tell me to tell my dad something, or you know, my sister and I were constantly being told to tell the other parents something, and that really put a strain on, on us being the middleman in the relationship. When going through a divorce, don't ever argue in front of your children. To put all your energy into co-parenting, no matter how difficult it may be, um, that's really important. And that was important to me to see my parents get along and just communicate. So if something was going on with me, if I was sick or not, it was important for my mother to communicate that with my father. My parents never made me feel guilty about going to see the other. It was always an easy transition to go from one house to the other. Um, and both homes felt like home.